What's up, everybody? Um, so I'm on the in the basement steps in my uncle's house trying to be quiet. Um, it's like four o'clock in the morning, but I did this interview with one of you, my viewers, a dispatcher, dispatcher Vlad. He's got experience. Um, he he'll work with new guys, even if you're a one car open or a multi, you know, carrier enclosed. Um, so. I'll put his Instagram in, the link of the description of this video. You could message him, or just message me, I'll connect you. Anyway, so uh, you could get to know him a little bit more. Um, we recorded the phone conversation, and uh, you could hear his experience, see some pictures, and he's definitely a good guy to um, to consider if you need to be dispatched. So... Um, he knows the difference between a Chevy Bel Air and a Fiat Dignale, which is important because some places you can put a Fiat Dignale, you cannot fit a Bel Air. And uh, those girls working at the other company that don't know the difference, they're going to waste a lot of your dispatching trucking time. So, um, roll the clip. <laughs> wants to work on the with him, you know, so that's why I was supposed to, you know, find someone else, and then, yeah, and then people were calling me, um, my buddies, and asked me to dispatch them, and also I had a company with my friend where I had my own trailer, and he was lifting the truck, and everything was good, but then we, we split it, because I see. Uh, tell me, what's your experience? Um, like, you have you been to the states? You said you have. Yeah, your own yeah. Truck? I used to, I used to live in Illinois since uh, 2014 till 2017. So I've been there for three years. I see. So, so okay, and you had your own unit. You dispatched in some other units, okay? Yeah, yeah. I had mine. Mine like that was a company of my friend. But I paid him for the trailer. That, that was, you know, not expensive trailer. That was that a freedom trailer, thirty four feet long for a two part. And um, and yeah, that that was my own. But then I I was supposed to sold it to, to sell it. And um, and after that, I'm just dispatching. You know, I'm just dispatching open and closed car car haulers. Um, what, what kind of routes? What kind of routes do you do? What are your routes? Well, so let's say one driver uh, running from Jersey to Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, and then he is coming back. Like, do you uh, have one uh, more driver? I guess I'm asking because do you have like your own client base, repeat clients sometimes calling you back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I usually have, you know, those sailors. Like, so I don't have to, you know, look, look on the same show. I'm just calling them and trying to get a load before they're going to post it on the central. And, um, yeah, sometimes I have clients who's calling me asking me to get it picked up, but usually I'm spending, you know, time on a, on a central dispatch. So you've been uh, in the industry how long? Since 2015. 2015. Yeah, yeah cool. Um, You know Steve and Daisy Wells in Texas. Oh, yeah. oh, How yeah. about in, Interstate Mo Steve, Motorsports yeah. in New Jersey? I, uh, oh yeah, I know. I, I know Steve. I know Steve very good, and uh, I also was watching a YouTube video where where you uh, visited them. That yeah, was very nice. Yeah, I'm, she really she really likes the camera. I really like the camera. He doesn't uh -huh. really like. He works. He's an awesome guy, awesome guy to learn from. Um, so, I don't know. We got to promote the industry. We're both promoters, Daisy and I. So, we could own off the American dream and promoting it and connecting everything that needs to be connected, you know? Sure, sure. Yeah, that's, so, that's very interesting. It, here you are messaging me after a central dispatch. People like, mm -hmm. like it. Um, so... Um, Cool, you know, and you find the video now. You're also, talking to me. 
Oh yeah. Also, I like this guy Jay. I was watching his uh, videos like, yeah. last year. Yeah, I'm friends with and Jay. It I, was very cool. We did. We tried to do a car hauler meetup, and I paid for everything, but it was kind of a fail. Um, and I oh. had it on my old channel, but I flew Jay out. I flew. There was an investor that seen my videos from Israel. Came couple car haulers. I mean, I rented a restaurant. You know, I spent like thousands. But, um... Nice. I guess I gotta do it again. You know, keep doing it. Now I got this promotion truck, you know, that motorhome. Mm-hmm. Um... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know. That's nice. Actually, you know what? I have I have one of my, uh, one of my clients. I shipped the Mercedes Benz uh, S500. And this guy, he, you probably know him. He, he is a Will Castro. Yeah, so, uh, so he's like on the, on the YouTube, uh, he, he's like, he's, you know, he likes to do some stuff on YouTube too, and, um, uh, I don't know if you, uh, remember it or not, but, uh, do you remember P- Pimp My Ride? So he's the one who was, was the, uh, exhibit on, on that show, and, um, I don't know, but maybe we can, you know, I have connection with him as well, so maybe like we can, you know, make something, I don't know, like, maybe if I have connection with him, maybe you have some ideas so I can connect you guys, you know? I think, I don't know, I'm just really crazy about YouTube. That's all. I I, I really believe you can build a, you know, a giant company that will put you on the cover of Forbes magazine from YouTube, so... Um, that's right that's and um, yeah my old I channel agree. got deleted it was very devastating a lot of precious videos but here I am back again but, so uh, why it was deleted um, I just didn't respond to the strikes I did three strikes uh-huh. uh, I did a, uh-huh. a lot of, I reviewed a lot of DOT police inspection videos you know, I didn't say anything bad about them. You know, I just show the video, but I didn't push the right buttons, you know, to use somebody else's video. I don't know how to do that. If someone could tell me, that would help me out. You know, I'd even hire them. But, you know, I'd like sh- show the video, and then at the end I would talk about my thoughts about the DOT inspection, how, how you know, just, just mm-hmm. my experience, mm-hmm. you know. I've had my CDL sure. since 2011, and before that I... Mm-hmm. I did car hauling, you know, with a, I started with a one car hauler and a tow truck in 2006. So, mm-hmm. um, wow, you've doing this for a while. Yeah, man. I towed, okay, this is the stupidest thing. I towed my first customer, my first $80 was a Russian guy in my city, Apple Valley, Minnesota, calls me, says, Mark's towing in Egan, Minnesota has my Dodge Caravan in the impound lot. And I had a business card that I made. I had a tow dolly, two-wheel dolly, and I had a Nissan Maxima with a giant tow hitch that I put from a Buick and a a transmission cooler, aftermarket transmission. I said, you know, he's like, it's going to be $180 for them to tow my car out of the impound to my house. Would you do it? I said, yeah, I'll do it with my Nissan Maxima. Would you give me $80? Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, I ended up towing 50 cars, you know, up to 50, around 50 cars for my friends and stuff around town, sometimes picking up cars in Iowa, bringing them in Minnesota with that Nissan Maxima. After that, I was wow. like, dude, I think I'm in business, but I need something presentable. This is dangerous. You know, um, you know, like, but I mean, the Maxim was powerful. They had the th- V6 with, um, you know, you could do your average Corolla, no problem, you know. Um, but, you know, a Dodge Grand Caravan towed by a Maxim, if you can imagine that, it's r- ridiculous. Um, so, yeah. And then, you know, I went, to, I went to the Burnsville Toyota dealership. I was like, maybe I should get a uh, Toyota, you know, like a Tacoma, you know, to pull this tow dolly. And then I was like, you know, the Tacomas are kind of small. You know, I was looking at, talking to the dealer. I was like, what's my credit score going to, you know, can, what can it handle? And I was like, you know, just give me that Tundra. He's like, you want to test drive it? I was like, no, I'm just sick of test driving. Just get me that Tundra. I want it tomorrow. I know it's like $8,000 more, 
bye. You know, and then tomorrow I call him. I was like, did you get my, you know, did it happen? And he's like, yeah, come pick up your Tundra. And I put 300,000 miles on that Tundra. Wow. You know, um, well, I bought it with 30,000. It was lightly used. But first car in my family to be bought at a dealership, you know, my mom was like, you're crazy. Um, you know, we all, we all got to buy repairables only. So, um, okay, so how much do you charge per uh, for your percentage? Well, you know, two of my friends, uh, like, Paying me five percent of the load, but uh, one another guy is paying me four percent. So I Those mean, are pretty we good. Can start. That's like you know, in, in the states, everyone charges ten percent, and you're knowledgeable and but, experienced. But they, they charge ten percent only for if they have uh, if they have their own central dispatch com, right? I don't know. So what I know that companies usually charge 10%, but in that case, they have their own central dispatch account and they have like, you know, drivers like owner operators and owner operators, let's say if we have a load for a thousand dollars. Okay, I see. So So if you got a central dispatch account and you're an owner, you will log into their account and manage it. I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to log in their account. I'm going to do all their ratings. I'm going to take care of everything of this, you know. I see, okay. Take care of this account, yeah. Okay, got it. I mean, my English is not good, but... No, you're great. You know, I... You know know the difference between a Chevy Bel Air and a 69 Camaro and a Bentley GT Coupe, you know. Unlike, oh, yeah, I know. you know, this other company I was with, they got Belarusian dispatchers and, you know, I and four other drivers left within a month out of that company uh, uh-huh. because they just, we don't want to teach them, you know, and they, they don't want to pay the American dispatchers and I'm still friends with the American dispatchers too. Uh, mm-hmm. And, um, who, you know, who have experience and everything and clients so, um, right, right. yeah, I'll put your information in the description of the video so people can click on it. So, um, and then they can message you. How much do you owe you? How much do you owe me? Yeah. Get, get me, get me a date with my, get me a date with my ex-girlfriend, Lianichka, who moved away from Florida. I moved to Florida just for her. And when I moved there, she lost interest. She said, she goes, she goes, if you want to have a relationship, you can't be on the road all the time you, and you got to live in Florida. Oh, yes. So I was like, okay, babe, got it, you know? So I like hit the road hard for three months, knock it out, pay off my truck. And I moved to Florida and I sell the truck and I don't have a job, you know? I'm just like looking for a job and stuff. And I was thinking I'd move in with her, you know? And she's, and she moved back to Ukraine. She lost interest. And then she calls me. She's like, come to Ukraine and marry me and bring me back to America. I was like, um, no. And uh, Trump became president and it was, it, it wouldn't have worked out because the immigration became complicated. And So that's all I need. One date with her, just, just to see her. We were supposed to go to Key West on Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what you owe me. We're supposed to go to Key West to the Garden of Eden Club. You know what I'm talking about? They got the Garden of Eden on the rooftop there in the one bar. No? Honestly, no. I don't know what... what I thought I should go there once. And she was the girl to go there with, but... So so you're... That's what you own. Due to high demand, Serge the car hauler is expanding his business. 
If you're interested in joining an exciting company as a driver, owner, operator and such, visit his page at facebook.com slash search the car hauler and send him a message.